Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Taurus. And this is going to be for the weekend of the 15th through the 16th. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. That's Darcy. I'm at my daughter's helping her, so I'm a little out of my element here, meaning doing this. But we're going to do the best we can. So this is for my Taurus. The Eight of Pentacles. Getting out of some financial worries. The Seven of Pentacles. You planted a seed. You're watering it now, financially. Just be patient. Nothing happens overnight. The Queen of Wands. This is a fire energy. This could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. The Knight of Wands. Waiting for a message or want to tell somebody something. Just be careful of others, other people's feelings. The Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving. Now, if you want to show to the world that you got money, don't do that. Keep it to yourself. The Five of Cups. A little upside down, you know. It's a little emotional. The Page of Wands. Something happy. There's something passionate coming your way. The King of Cups. Feeling emotionally stable or this could be a, an energy in your environment, a Pisces, a Scorpio or a Cancer. So let's see the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Top of the Eight of Pentacles, I got the Six of Swords. So whatever you're coming out of, you're moving to calmer waters. You know, things are going to start calming down. And I do see the Eight of Cups. You're disappointed about something and you want to withdraw. Just be patient. Remember the Temperance card. The Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Be patient. You planted something now. The Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> you got the Knight of Pentacles. You're working hard. And as so you should when you do plant something, right? You got to work hard. You got to water it. You got to take care of it. You got to nurture it. And you have to nourish and I got the Ten of Pentacles. And when you do, there'll be a happy family enough to take care of everyone and yourself. Also, this could mean that you might be coming into some unexpected income or you might have come into some unexpected income. Okay? Then we got the Temperance card. Here we got the Six of Cups. This could have been something from the past, somebody from the past. And I see the four of pentacles here. I do see that you are, um, it says that you're balanced. Or it could be you're a little off balance. <laughs> Excuse me. So, the four of pentacles to me, it could mean that you're emotionally stable. It seems like, you know, you're not 
bad off at all. And it could also mean that what you have, maybe things are a little tight right now. And what you have, you want to hold on to it. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But this finances, this money that's coming, you just need to be patient. There's some money coming in, and it's coming in from someone from the past. There's something coming from someone in the past that's going to stabilize you financially. That's how I see this. The Queen of Wands, got the Page of Cups, and I got the Eight of Pentacles here. You're working very hard on whatever it is you're doing, and you're going to have some creative opportunities coming. You're going to have, you're also thinking it might be a business opportunity. Now, the Queen of um, the Queen of Wands, she's very popular and, you know, very lively and everything. Um, but she also has a very good head on her. Um, where business is concerned and stuff like that. So maybe this is someone in your environment who is helping you establish something. So the Knight of Wands, you got the Magician and you got the King of Cups. The King, King of Cups here. So I said, this is energy in your environment. <laughs> so you are the Magician, darling. Let me tell you, anything you touch now can turn to gold. You got the Midas touch, okay? The thing about it is you just got to believe. You got to believe in yourself and see listen see and listen you see so the magician and the king of cups now the king of cups could also mean emotional stability the queen of cups means you being sensitive to me the king of cups is emotional stability and the six of pentacles here on top of the Six of Pentacles, we got the Six of Pentacles. You need to get out of your head. All right? You got to change these thoughts around. You got to make them positive. The Six, the Five, I'm sorry. You got the Six of Pentacles. On top of the Six of Pentacles, you got the Five of Pentacles. I'm sorry. The Five of Pentacles. You got to get out your head. Get out of your head, okay? This feeling is just temporary. The feeling that you have is temporary. Hold on to your faith. Lack of faith. You got the seven of cups after that. Darling, you have many opportunities. Many doors are going to be opening for you, okay? And the five of cups here. You can go up there, Benny. Go back. Go, Benny. You can go up there. You can lay down there. I'll give you permission and get up there. The Knight of Swords on top of the Five of Cups. Something coming in real fast. Or are you thinking that fast? Darling, you darlings. You're above your challenges. You're ambitious. You're a fast thinker. And you are action-oriented. Something's coming fast. You got the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Seven, um, <laughs> the Seven of Wands. The Knight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. A slip of the tongue, no fault of the mind. <laughs> the Page of Wands. You got the Three of Pentacles. Happiness, the universe is building something for you. And the Ten of Wands, that just means you're going to have a little extra responsibility, okay? It may feel a little heavy, but you got this. You can handle this. Trust yourself, okay? And the King of Cups. <clears throat> See, the King of Cups. King of Cups, we have the Hierophant, which is... It could be marriage, it could it could be marriage, <laughs> and it could be um, a contract. So there's something coming in here. You're going to have a lot of opportunities. Maybe it has something to do with the opportunities, the Seven of Cups. And on top of the Hierophant comes the Queen of Cups. You might be feeling a little emotional right now, a little sensitive at this time, whenever this happens here. 
When I see the three of pentacles, I always think the universe is building something for you. Some kind of, kind of to me, it always means some kind of union. Um, the card says team or collaboration, you know, working together, being a part of a team. Possible. And it's going to give you extra responsibility, of course. And it's going to be some some form of contract, some, some kind of contract is going to come in. Or it might be marriage. Because I got the King of Cups here, I got the Hair of Front, and it's so odd. Everything here is about finance, and then suddenly it ends with... Um, and I'm reading you, right, Taurus? Taurus and the Queen of Cups. The Hair of Front and the Queen of Cups. The Hair of Front and the Queen of Cups. This could be a Cancer. A Pisces or Scorpio. Wedding bells in the air. I love you guys so much. You take care of yourself. I want you to stay positive, okay? No matter what. Try to turn it around. Find a way. You can do it. I know you can. I have faith in you. You take care of yourself. I love you and I will see you soon chat with you soon.